What's up, y'all? Got a film in the feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Lena pop back after Neek supporters come for King. Let's get it. So previously, I spoke on King and Lena getting very upset after King wrote a birthday post to his son. And underneath that post, everyone kept referring to Kaiser as Dwayne's son. Now, Lena and King were saying things like, it looks like you're hungry, and Lena even calling someone sloppy. Well, Neek and her mom actually took Kaiser out to New York for his birthday, his dream birthday trip. Now, Lena was on live and she <coughs> had some things to say because people were trolling, even stating that she didn't even wish Kaiser a happy birthday. Why didn't tell Kaiser? I did say happy birthday to him. Most definitely did in real life. Over the phone. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, if I was her, I wouldn't say nothing. Like, on the mommy scale, on the stepmommy scale, she's down 50 points. And just because, oh my God. <laughs> the way, like, because Neek gonna do what she wanna do regardless, but like, <clears throat> Neek took him to New York on a dream I guess it's dream birthday vacation or however it go. Um, and uh, I don't know. She keep talking about how he is just being a good dad and, you know, speaking about the girls and the Kaiser part is absolutely missing. However, on King's end, I feel like he is chasing a goal right now which sometimes we put things to the side. Because if Lena wasn't there, them kids probably would be with his mama anyway. Lena's there because clearly she's the mom and blah, blah, blah. But on the stepmommy scale, I wouldn't speak up at all. I wouldn't say anything. Nothing. Shit. <laughs> I wouldn't say nothing. Um, definitely not responding to a soul. She is on uh, TikTok, so she get a bag from it. So, you know, it is what it is, but... I wouldn't be jogging. How old are you? I'm 24. Why are you always in their business? Bitch, why are you always in our business? That's the real question. Why are you always in our business? She definitely ain't wrong for that. Because it is their business. <laughs> So now the boys are into it. Now Corey went on to Facebook and posted this long post after people were assuming that he was messing around with Zoe. He states, luckily I don't judge gay people. I treat everybody with respect. The fact that these fools trying to say me and Zoe got something going on is the funniest ish ever to me because it's like y'all try to hate so bad and make ish seem what it isn't. So Corey basically states here that he has nothing but respect for Zoe and he can't help that Zoe looks at him the way that he does. But Zoe also knows that Corey doesn't swing that way. Corey reiterates that he doesn't have anything against gay people, but he's also a marketing genius. And that's why he goes live with Zoe and he speaks to Zoe, of course, because Zoe is bringing him in more views. Damn. Well, Zoe wasn't really happy with this paragraph that Corey. Y'all, please don't say this man name in my lives anymore or mine and his. Please, 100, that's it, that's all. Wrote. So he reposted it on Twitter well, and stated, y'all, please don't say this man. First of all, I don't know how Zoe didn't see, he didn't see that. Uh, he said, I'm going to put, I'm going to put um, sexy in, because uh, big sexy. I'm going to put big sexy in zone on, on my live. This shit about to go up. Like, come on now. None of these people are your friends. <laughs> name in my lives anymore or <coughs> mine in his please that's it that's all so Zoe is actually done with the friendship that he yeah, had everything. with Corey um who is Star Prince y'all go tell my husband to go live with me I'm moving on from Corey 
Somebody go into Keith's live. Now, Carmen was on live last night, and her and Boog were together, and they were trying to act like they're not. Then this morning, he posts up this photo, and you can see the same fan that was in the live from last night. Yo, this room killed me with the same fan. <laughs> Girl, she killed me. I cannot do this. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Y'all, why y'all up? <coughs> what time is it when y'all at? Cause why y'all up? It's twelve forty-two. I'm at. Mm. Twelve forty-two. Twelve forty-two. What the hell going on? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what the hell karma got going on? Oh, yeah, at the same time as me. Well, 143. 243, where you at? Do a flip or something. <laughs> you do a flip. 643, damn, where you at? Hey, queen. <laughs> oh my god Carmen you have Be next to her whisper I'm just a little fry maybe <clears throat> 1043 I'm not drunk I haven't drunk nothing today I ain't lying I be thugging all day She been thugging <laughs> all day 744 where you at Damn y'all ahead of time Y'all in the future <laughs> I'm going to try not to laugh no more, y'all. It is the next day. That motherfucker said, I'm out here thugging. I be laughing too much. <laughs> Who's snoring? <laughs> and nobody's snoring. <laughs> 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 oh, snap. Nobody's snoring. I'm not sick though. What y'all talking about? I mean, oh, I got you fried. <laughs> <laughs> I am a favorite brother. I ain't lying. But chilling though. So she's just on live at night in the dark on Instagram laughing. Beside Boogie. We're going to go ahead and end this. Y'all let me know what y'all think. <clears throat> Down in the comment section below, girl, I have nothing else to say because Carmen had nothing to say from jump. All right. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.